We uh, are hoping to be able to build um, a small garden suite, uh, a suite that's at grade, may have a garage attached to it, it may not, um, that my parents-in-law can live in. Uh, we're a multi-generational family, so we live with my mother and father-in-law, uh, as well as my wife and our two-year-old son. And we'd like to be able to have uh, a place where my parents can live that's accessible. They're getting older and so we worry at some point that stairs could become an issue. And we're also hoping that in the future that could become a home for uh, our son, that he might be able to live in when he's an adult himself. Um, or maybe my wife and I wind up moving to that suite and then he lives in the main house and possibly redevelops it. Um, but we'll see what happens down the road. This is a test pilot by the city. Um, it's called a flag lot and it's going to separate the main house from a backyard suite. You can currently subdivide your house into two skinnies but that involves tearing down the principal residence. So I'm a big fan of this pilot because it allows you to keep the primary home while redeveloping a part of the land. We have a big yard behind me here and that's a lot of space that, uh, that could be used. Um, sometimes we actually wish there were less of that space to have to maintain so it could be beneficial if we're actually able to develop it for another purpose. So you could build a garden suite today. Um, the exciting part for us is that this is uh, a better use of uh, the land and maintain some of the value of it. Uh, otherwise, it's a better land use to build two skinnies. Uh, if you build a garden suite and you're not able to subdivide, then you may be able to recover some of those costs when you go to sell the house, but the market is probably smaller. Um, if you can subdivide, then it actually creates two individual households that don't have to be related. I like the flexibility in it. Again, it comes back to that question of density. Two families that aren't connected could live in those two households, whereas today in a garden suite or a garage suite, you're primarily going to have people who are related.